If you're looking for the absolute cheapest coins right now in Madden 22, head on over to AOEAH.com and use code Poodle at checkout. Don't miss out. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over how to get your free 86 Calais Campbell as well as your Kyler Murray that should be coming soon as well. When I made this video like two weeks ago, a lot of people were asking how to get the other two. Now, it's pretty, it's pretty certain how the schedule kind of works, and one of them actually did end up releasing. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, before we get into the video, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, if you haven't, comment down below Poodle Squad. If you guys want to do if you guys want to be shouted out, like the like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, turn that noti bell and be subbed to be shouted out. Today's shout out goes out to DLW. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thanks so much for showing support each and every day. Now, guys, I actually do have the Calais Campbell ready, so I will go ahead and show you guys the stats and then I'll show you how to get him now. In terms of this card, this is an 86 overall, which I do actually like for a few reasons. First off, when they did this last year, they started with like 80 overalls. And by the time we got any good ones, they weren't really that usable. So I do like that this year they are taking an approach to make sure that these are usable cards. Now, a lot of people may think like 86 overall is not that usable. My team's an 86 overall. Now, yes, I have pretty good players and overall isn't exactly determined. That doesn't determine how good your team actually is when you look at it. But 86 overalls can be good at depth, especially a guy like Calais Campbell. could play a defensive tackle, could play a backup spot you know stamina reasons fatigue reasons as well as a lot of teams may not even have 86 overalls you know no money spent budget squad teams like these are good and they fill positions where you may not have them right maybe a no money spent guy wants to put Calais Campbell at end and then take Jack Youngblood and you know exchange him with the set at the point whenever that is you know available and go ahead and get maybe all worth just a few options there to consider now let's go check out the Calais Campbell then I'll go over kind of how to get him how I did get him and then of course um the Kyler Murray as well so our Calais Campbell is right down here at the 86 overall spot, as well as the fact you can put their card on there, which is super cool as well. When you go over to upgrades, you can, you know, mess with their card art so they can't go ahead and get their cool jersey as well, which I really, really do like. Now, you know, having their college jersey on there just makes it just makes it way cooler. I mean, I, I really liked having the Odell with the LSU as well as having um, Joe Hayden in his jersey as well. Now, with this card right here. Again, he's pretty easy to get. I believe you need about two sacks, which is just very simple to get. Or was it or was it two fumbles? I believe two fumbles, actually. It, it was two fumbles. I've had the sa the sacks, was, I believe the... um, Yeah, I think this one was fumbles, which I will go show you guys. But here are stats. 65 speed, 78 excel, 86 strength, 87 tackle, 86 play rec, 85 blocks, 81 power move, 71 finesse move. Also, guys, he's on the Ravens, which means that if you do guys... If you have a Ravens team team, he's pretty cool as well. I'm not sure what are the... Uh, you know, the whole... Let's check that out real quick. What teams can he get? Okay, so I believe he can just get his Ravens. He can't get his uh, his Jaguars or his, um, I believe, Cardinals. But yeah, otherwise, guys, the card's pretty good. If you go again, he's a good card. He's six foot eight. He's gonna be a, he's gonna be a pretty good card. I mean, again, he's not all threshold, but neither is you know Youngblood and a few other guys. So he still gets the job, and he can run stop and decently pass rush. Also, he's six foot eight with some pretty good strength, three hundred pounds, which are definitely helping the run game. Anything behind the cards, interesting. Eighty five impact blocking as well as. Let's see, 81 hit power is pretty good as well. He's not a bad card. 86 overall. Again, I wish they could be exchanged into sets, though, because that would be cool if I could exchange the 86s and the 85s to free that I don't if I don't need them anymore at some point and get the 87 to 88 overall exchange. But I guess that's what we, that's the penalty we have to pay for getting good cards. So I feel like last year and years prior, that's why they didn't give us good cards at certain times, because we could just, you know, farm them and turn them into 87, 88 exchanges and then just go ahead and trade them over. Imagine only three players are given us. We could easily go on like five accounts, do them all, and then just trade them into 87, 88s and get a whole team, right? So I borderline get why they do it to not go ahead and destroy that and start a whole farming method. But still, there is some other benefits to this card. For instance, guys, if you guys didn't know, they do quick sell for a decent amount of training. So if you honestly think about it, it's really not bad to go ahead and do them anyways. If you look at the training, he quick sells for 515 training. So if you do go ahead, get him and Kylo, that's over a thousand training plus Joe Hayden at like 400. That's a thousand four hundred training for these guys. Plus the A-Rod, you're looking at like a thousand eight hundred training total. That's almost, that's almost 2k. Like, that could power up a whole player almost. That is not bad at all at this time in the game. So you can always use them and then quick sell them for training later. So it's not like I would hate it if they made them no training, non quick sellable, nothing, and then you were just stuck with a card in your team, right? At least you get a good training value for them, which actually is it even cut in half. It's like their full training value, which I really do like. Now, for all you guys wondering how to get them again, and the Kyler Murray as well, I'll go show you guys. So, you know, as things are going to be going, it seems every week they are going to be updating this. Now, I don't know for how long if they'll do this. I hope they do it throughout the year. It's definitely something fun to keep you guys in Superstar KO mode here and there. Uh, you know, getting some free. I like how they've been in incorporating. Like, I just did my Campus Legends one. 20 games. Took a little bit, but it was. it's a free player. I had my whole line stacked out with Campus Legends. It was really fun with them and Ultimate Kickoff. 
So you go to Superstar KO. I do like that they're implementing this. Now, the only thing I think they need to add, like truthfully, count head to head wins into Superstar KO. Because the only thing I'm missing right now is my Cam Chancellor head to head wins. I really wish they incorporated this because if I counted my 30 Superstar KO wins from, you know, throughout the year, I'd probably be done over there. So I think they should incorporate that. Now, guys, right above my head, you would see a spot right there if you don't have the card unlocked. It'll say like Calais Campbell and his objective. So I believe it was two fumbles, which wasn't that hard to get. And which I believe it's been two sacks and two fumbles, right? I believe it was two sacks for Joe Hayden, two fumbles for him. Now, I wonder why it was sacks for Joe Hayden. That really didn't make too much sense. But I assume Kyler Murray will be coming next. So, Kyle, Calais Campbell did release a day or two ago. So, do expect that Kyle, or was it like Friday? So, Kyler Murray should be releasing about a week, a week-ish, a week and a half-ish from that. So, expect it in about a week from today-ish. You'll be seeing Kyler Murray. So, Kyler Murray more than likely... Will be an 86. It will be an 86 overall. His stats are actually up on Mutt.gg if you guys do want to go check him out. He is pretty good. He has good speed and really good throw power. So he's going to be like a dual threat quarterback. The only thing that could have made this better is if Kyler Murray did get the plus one from the team of the week. But otherwise, that will be the best Kyler Murray for now. Unless he gets the plus one from team of the week as a low set player. Now, Kyler Murray will probably end up being pretty simple. He'll probably, I mean, if it's it makes sense, probably like two, get like 600 passing yards, 800 passing yards, which would just take like a, a game or two of just straight passing especially with how easy this just bombs away on next gen or even current gen or it could be like maybe 400 rushing yards because it's kyler which again would be pretty easy just scramble run scramble scramble inside zone scramble inside zone read options again it's fun the college game what i actually think is kind of fun i don't think it's as miserable as some people think uh i mean i didn't mind i'm, I'm a big lsu fan so it was kind of fun to play with lsu that's kind of who i rocked with and occasionally oklahoma because i did want to use kyler murray a few times to test him out because i did like kyler in college as well but that is how you're going to do that. So Kyla will come up soon. So guys, remember, the objectives will be above you. Once they're gone, you cannot do them. So make sure you guys are doing them in the requisite time period that is given to you. So make sure you guys are definitely staying up to date with that. I'm like I said, I hope they actually do this weekly. I think it'd be super cool if they did keep up with this throughout the year. For the very simple reasoning that that's a cool thing to have weekly. If it's okay, it'll be like free training, how to get like free 500 going on forward, 500 to 1,000 training weekly for like at least a month or two and then once we get into the 90s it could be cool and again maybe they can make multiple modes of it like they did college this time maybe they can do a, a legend superstar ko mode a rookie superstar ko mode like play with all the rookies like the nfc rookies versus the afc rookies or something like that i think that'd be cool and you can get a you know a good rookie player and of course their special edition cards which reminds me of a lot of like 2k and fifa and like stuff like that where they give you like their specific little things that you're able to get only through that mode which gives you purpose to play the game a little bit more, immerses you into it. You can even play this with friends, which is cool, you know. You can play 2v2 real quick, 3v3, and you can just text a friend real quick. If you guys are in a party together, instead of grinding offline, you can grind together, which is always cool as well. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. Again, if you need, if you have any questions regarding the Campbell, like how to get him quickly, I mean, like I said, I believe it was, I believe it was fumbles. Uh, fumbles aren't really aren't hard. I mean, I just, it just, it literally just happened. I mean... I, I hit stick the quarterback or I always go for the strip also I'm on I'm playing on current because my Xbox stripping is a lot easier in current next gen is almost impossible for whatever reason but Saxon quarterback is probably gonna be your best bet or you know cracks over the middle I mean it's fumbles it's very it's very um the probability based you're not gonna it's something you really do to increase that just make sure you're hitting them playing with LSU definitely helped I mean they have a really good secondary uh you know Devin White in the front seven of course helped and then I had Jamal Adams uh Tyron Matthew could decently hit I mean it wasn't it wasn't too bad and of course, whenever I sacked the quarterback, I hit the strip button. But yeah, that's about it for the video, guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up. And of course, comment down below if you guys have any questions. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.